Hello guys, this is Deirdre's Kids, welcome to a What We Know So Far video, and this time I'm going to be talking about episode 7, The Pyramid at the End of the World. Uh, this episode is written by Pete, Peter Harkness, who wrote the Zygon Invasion and the Zygon Inversion last, in series 9, uh, and Stephen Moffat, who, well you don't all know who Stephen Moffat is, um, but... This is directed by Daniel Nettingham, who directed the sixth episode, um, and this one is this one seems interesting. Um, this episode goes on the basis that there's going to there's it's, it's the middle of a war. Uh, it's the middle of a war, and this place is a war zone. Uh, and it's a war between the Chinese, Russian, and the American armies, and they are going to fight, obviously. Um, but there's a pyramid in the way. <laughs> there's a, just a pyramid sitting um, in the middle of this war zone, and it wasn't there yesterday. Um, so, where did this pyramid come from? It's unknown. Uh, where did? What is it? Uh, no, well, no, it isn't because we do know what that stupid pyramid is. It's 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 a, it's a ship, because you see a moment when which the trailer for the next time trailer kind of spoils when you see that there's just a little bit of glowing around the ship. Now that to me feels like the ship has turned into a, the pyramid has gone into that mist into that ship. Um, be how I, how how I would think of it, um, but the monks are back again, and they came to kill us all, um, and I think this last week they had like that simulation. Now it's less simulation and more like real life. They've done. They've got that. It's real now. Um, they this is the real time, and they've made a pyramid that they've stuck in the middle of a battlefield, and these. Um, these monks are going to try and dictate what happens, I suppose, uh, through their pyramid, and they're kind of watching you, and they want to obviously kill everyone, uh, which is just the general bad guy theme. Uh, but don't you just feel a bit sorry for like the writers because P Peter Harkness and Toby Whitehouse both could have written different episodes that had their own what they wanted to write about. You know, they could have written. Uh, an episode about weeping angels, or an episode about um, scarecrows, or whatever, uh, or clothes that move, or Iron Man masks, or cameras, I don't, anything, but they could have written whatever they wanted to do in that episode, and they've been sidelined because Stephen Moffat wants to write a three-parter, uh, and he has to kind of borrow you to, to write it, because that's a lot of room for him to write, which he's not going to do by himself, so he's employed two people to do it for him, um, and couldn't, but don't, don't you see what I'm coming from, that, that Peter Hartness and Toby Whitehouse could have just written their own episodes. There's no need for this three-parter. Right, so I'm excited for this episode. I'm interested to see how this is going to go because it looks like quite a strange one. It's probably the strangest that we've seen this series. Uh, the Lie of the Land seems quite strange and the Eaters of, the eaters of the Light seem quite strange as well. Uh, but with that, that's in a few weeks. This seems like the most weirdest we've had so far. I'm very interested about the monks. I quite like them as villains, and I'm looking forward to see what is going to happen in the in the uh, future. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been DJ Studios. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Do make sure you give a like. Make sure you come here on Saturday for my review of the Pyramid at the End of the World. Make sure you go and check down my review for Extremists that did really well. Uh, yeah, goodbye.